One of them is my little cousin, Sean Evans. He's going to come bring it close to home. He's going to do a reading by, he's going to do a reading uh, of Lamar Smith. Most of your old members may remember him as they called him Didney Smith. But Sean is going to come with a reading. Then after that, Sister Sears, she's coming, and she's going to do a poem by Langston Hughes, the Negro Mother. After which, we will be back in charge of our pastor. Thank you. They say to know where you're going is to know where you've come from. That way you don't make the mistake of traveling back the same way you once came. In 1955, you couldn't convince black Americans that 53 years later we have a black president. Because in 1955, Mississippi law and white threats kept most blacks from even voting. But Lamar Smith was determined that his people would have a say in local government. He fearlessly organized voters here in Lincoln County campaigned for candidates he judged to be fair, and he helped organize absentee ballot, to, ballot drives among blacks. Now, back then it was common practice among whites in the county to misuse absentee ballots, but blacks still only made up a small percentage of the total vote. But with Lamar Smith's efforts, the strength was growing. We might have not been able to elect a black candidate at the time, but we could at least make black, I mean white politicians pay attention to African Americans. Lamar Smith was one man not afraid to make his vote heard. In 1955, he campaigned hard against an incumbent county supervisor. He cast his own vote, he cast his own vote August 2nd primary election, and was spending the final days before the runoff election campaigning among all the black voters. And on Saturday, August the 13th, nine days before the runoff, Smith went down to the county courthouse on business. He stood on the lawn and he was approached by several white men who began arguing with him. The courthouse was a popular weekend gathering place. A number of people watched as one white man pulled out a 38 caliber pistol and shot Lamar Smith at close range. Raven Sheriff Robert Case was close enough to hear the gunshot and see a blood spat splattered man leave the scene, but it was eight days before he arrested three men for murder. Although many people had witnessed the argument and the shooting, no one was willing to testify to what they had saw on the courthouse lawn that Saturday. Without evidence, the grand jury returned no indictments, and the three white men went free. Now, we all know about Mega Evers, Martin Luther King Jr., and Malcolm X, the civil rights activists. Today, I'd like to honor one of Rakeven's own, Lamar Smith. If you don't go out and vote just to keep our first black president in office for the second term where he rightly should be, then at least go vote for Lamar Smith, a man who gave his life in order that we might have a chance to vote. Amen.